If you want to have the deepest understanding as well as maximum enjoyment from the upcoming Deadpool 3, you're gonna have to watch the following movies and web series in the chronological order. And that's why I have made this short video which is more than enough information for you to maximize the deepest understanding and enjoyment from Deadpool 3 without wasting almost 35 hours in the previous movies, web series and research activities. In the end of the video, I'm also gonna tell you about something which is gonna blow your mind. So stick with me until the end. In this movie you're highly likely to see two different versions of the TVA. Look at this picture and then this one. As you can see, one group came over here to take Deadpool and the other group took him away opening a portal. And then you can see Deadpool slicing the same TVA guys shown in the first picture. So expect an enmity or any other kind of rivalry between two different groups of the TVA. If you're not familiar with the TVA from Loki season 1 and 2, just know one thing that their name stands for Time Variance Authority. Their job is to burn the alternate timelines created by someone as well as punishing the person who tries to play with time for his own advantage. In short, they always make sure that no one is altering the sacred or in simple words the natural timeline and creating a new one which is not supposed to be happening. This is Logan but possibly from another universe or timeline. And then this is another Logan. So there's a higher possibility that Deadpool is going to visit different different timelines or even universes to find out the right Logan who can fix the problem of the TV. TVA. And in case you don't know, the TVA can use their portals for multiverse traveling. It's not a big deal for them. And by the way, one group of fans are also claiming that this Wolverine is Patch. Now Patch is the disguise name of Wolverine in another universe. In that universe, he generally likes to be adorned in a white tuxedo and he keeps an eye patch. He likes to gamble, drink and investigate like an espionage to solve criminal cases. Come again. This Wolverine let down his entire world. This Wolverine has let down his entire world. Does it sound familiar to any X-Men movie? The answer is no. Wolverine died in the 2017 Logan movie and the timeline was 2029. And I have recently watched all the X-Men movies almost frame by frame. So I will just say one thing that there's no way this Wolverine is the same Logan we have seen in the X-Men franchise because that Logan was not shown to cause any massive harm to the entire world. If this guy turns out to be the same Logan, it's going to be an absolute disgrace to the Logan timeline. So it's gonna be better if we don't pay any attention to any fancy theory and keep patience until the movie comes out. It's still confusing on who are going to be the bad guys in this movie because it can be the TVA that tried to kidnap Deadpool, it can be the other TVA that kidnapped Deadpool from the hand of those people, and then it can be Cassandra Nova herself. In case you don't know, Cassandra Nova is the evil twin sister of Professor Charles Xavier. According to the Marvel Comics, she has the following powers making her one of the most dangerous threats in the universe. She is a telepath. She can read the mind of others and control them just like Professor Charles Xavier. She has telekinetic power. She can control the movements of any kinds of object just like Dr. Jean Grey. She can copy the genetic structures of other people just like Mystique. Just like Kitty Pride, she can face through solid objects. She can regenerate her body parts just like Logan. She can transfer her consciousness into an another body and start living inside that new body just like Professor Charles Xavier. Finally, she can extract her astral body from the physical body and travel anywhere she wants just like you have seen in the Doctor Strange movies. So you can pretty much say that Cassandra Nova is almost impossible to defeat and I have a doubt that this woman might not be the villain in this movie. It might be another group of people which we haven't seen yet. Maybe a big surprise is waiting for us in the theater. Who knows? This is the cloud monster which was last shown in the Loki series. Before getting enchanted by female Loki, this cloud monster was one kind of pet of He Who Remains, aka another variant of Kang, who was actually controlling the sacred timelines. But as you can see right now with your own eyes that this TVA guy is getting scooped up by the cloud monster, I have a feeling that it is now the pet of Cassandra Nova. You see the flag of Canada over there? According to the X-Men movies, whenever something horrible happened to Logan or he just failed to do his job properly, he used to come back to Northern Canada. Canada as usual and become an alcoholic to ease the feeling of his self-pity. He did the same thing two more times in the X-Men series. The first time when he lost his memory after getting an adamantium bullet into his nasal cavity, he came back to northern Canada and started living a normal life. Excessive drinking and smoking became a part of his daily life. After having no other option except for putting down Dr. Jean Grey to save the life of others from her destructive Phoenix Force, he also went back to the northern Canada and started 
started living in the woods. Excessive drinking again became a major part of his daily life. This place is called the Void, and it's surprising to see that Cassandra Nova is living inside the skull of Ant-Man. And then this is Azazel, who is now working for Cassandra. And there's no way this is the same Azazel we have seen in the X-Men first class movie. That Azazel was shown to be dead due to research purposes in 1973 by Dr. Trask, after which Mystique wanted to kill him for taking revenge. By the way, this woman is Lady Deathstrike, who was shown to be dead in the 2003 X-Men United movie in the Alkali Lab. How this woman is coming back is beyond my understanding. I just don't want to make a weird theory on her comeback. Just know one thing, that she also had adamantium claws just like Logan has. I have also heard from the news that Pyro, the fireman, Toad, the frogman, and then Victor Creed, aka Sabretooth, are also returning in this movie. In case you don't know, Victor Creed was last shown in the 2009 X-Men Origins movie running away from the Three Mile Island after saying goodbye to his little brother Logan. Another Sabretooth was shown in the 2000 X-Men movie which doesn't really look like the face of Victor Creed. So I literally have no idea what the hell that Sabretooth was in the 2000 X-Men movie. By the way, this dude also has healing capability just like Logan. There is another man over here I couldn't manage to recognize. If you guys know about this man, let me know in the comment section. If you take a look at the picture, you can also get to see the Leviathans which had appearances in a couple of MCU installments. Captain America, Thor and Bruce Banner can also have a cameo in this movie. You might also get to see a glimpse of Asgard over here as well as the climax of Loki season 2 when he took control of the multiverse timeline. You might get to see a glimpse of Sokovia that has the secret research base of Hydra. And then, remember X-23 aka Laura Howlett. She buried the dead body of Logan in the new timeline in 2029 in the 2017 Logan movie. Also, keep this lady in your knowledge. She is Elektra. She has already appeared in two different movies until now. She is a deadly assassin and according to the wiki fandom, she also has telepathic and telekinetic energy. Remember this woman. She is Maria. She is a part of the X-Men universe. This portal on the picture can be opened by any student from the Kamartaj temple. It can also be Doctor Strange, Wong, America Chavez, Ned, or even any disciple from the temple. It's gonna be awesome if America Chavez does a cameo in this movie. We haven't seen her full potential yet. Yeah, oh my fuck! There are two lines from the trailer that says everyone deserves a good ending. So there is a higher possibility that Deadpool and Wolverine are going to do something with their time travel technology to fix their timelines and finally achieve a good ending. All the people Logan lost in his planet can possibly come back. And as I promised from the very beginning of this video, I'm gonna share with you a very surprising information which is gonna blow up your head. And this is about the timeline of the MCU and the X-Men universe. This is the most crucial part for the plot of Deadpool 3. Now listen carefully. According to the MCU timeline, you can go back to the past but altering your past is not going to change your future. But you can take something from the past to use that in the present to achieve something. Or you can also go to the future and change your fate. And the Avengers Endgame is the perfect example of that. Instead of attempting to kill baby Thanos, the Avengers went back to the past in different time points to collect the Infinity Stones to undo the snap Thanos performed to wipe out half of the universe. Also, the 2014 version of Thanos can be seen coming to the future in 2023 to redo the snap for wiping out half of the universe again. But here comes the biggest problem. According to the X-Men timeline, you can go back to the past to alter the course of your actions to change your future. And you can also see the same thing happening in the 2014 Days of Future Past movie. Logan, with the help of Kitty Pride, went back from 2023 to 1973 and restrained Mystique from killing Dr. Trask, which eventually ended the sentinel threat. After that, he comes back to 2023 and begins to live a peaceful life. So just imagine how fucked up the timeline of Deadpool 3 can turn out to be. I'm saying that because they have included the TVA which is directly connected to the MCU timeline. So, if Deadpool goes back in the past to change an event to change his future, the timeline logic shown in the Avengers Endgame will be broken. And I hope Marvel is not gonna mess with the original timeline of the Marvel superhero movies just to include 
Deadpool within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Also, keep another thing in mind that right now Loki is sitting on the throne of the sacred timelines and he is controlling all the timelines of the multiverse. Before him, there was a device simply known as the Temporal Loom which used to control the sacred timelines. But Loki destroyed the Temporal Loom and powered all the sacred timelines with his magic and sat on the throne for eternity. He is now doing what he was supposed to be doing. He is now ruling over the timelines of the multiverse. And that's all you needed to know before watching Deadpool 3. I hope you enjoyed the movie in the theater hall. See you next time. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar.